Hey guys, welcome to the first vlog. My name's Cale Scott. I'm a local drifter in South Australia. I uh, haven't been drifting a lot lately in the last couple of years. Um, due to my business, I started up a couple of years ago. So I'm the owner of a tyre shop in Lonsdale, South Australia, which is called Scott's Tyres, which is where we are now. Um, and I'm looking to get back into a bit of competitive drifting. So I have been doing a little bit around South Australia, um, the state series, do a bit of um, DCA, so Drift Challenge Australia, around Australia. And I uh, recently did a round of the Vic Drift. So hopefully uh, next year I can do a bit more of that, a bit more traveling. So I've seen a few guys are starting up the vlog channels and thought I might um, do one myself to, to show some of the crazy stuff we get up to. Hopefully you guys enjoy a bit of that. So yeah, this one will be covering obviously um, the state series uh, round ones coming up this weekend on the Sunday. Um, so basically getting the car ready for that, doing a bit of a paint job on it, putting some stickers on, make it look a little bit better than it was after the last round. Um, so last round was at Tail and Ben, round four. Uh, we actually came first in the battles in the pro class L1. So. Obviously, going into this one, hopefully we can back it up. Um, pretty excited. Obviously, that was my first win ever in any sort of competition. Um, I've gone on a podium before, but never actually won, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can back it up this weekend too. So we've done our paint job and it's a little bit too shiny for our liking. So we're gonna try and polish it down a little bit, take away the spray can looking effect a little bit, hopefully. That ripped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just 
You need a clean one to clean it off with. Yeah. Yeah, give us that one. Grab a clean one. So we fitted up the new rotor grid R's. Got a pair of Nankang NS2R 215 45-17s on the front. Haven't tried out a new pair of those yet, so good to see how they go on the weekend. And the rear, our choice for this weekend is 235 40 in the Salen ZSR. Polishing's actually looking kind of okay. Taking away that dirty rattle can looking shine, like up here. That looks a lot better. That, for that. Definitely going to do the rest of the car like this now. So now here we are, about to stick the car up. Just doing up some templates now, see how it's going to sit. Nothing too crazy, just breaking up the black a little bit, a little bit of advertising. So I got uh, one of the main stickers on, on one side. Took me a couple of hours, I reckon, to get it done in between uh, doing jobs at work and that. Definitely a lot harder than it looks. Uh, came out not too bad. As long as you look from a bit of a distance, you might see the, the bubbles and creases and that. But yeah, new paint job, new wheels. Um, definitely looks a bit different to before. Didn't spend as much time as I probably should on the prep work for the paint, but Still gonna look her up from the stands, give it a good uh, 20 meter rule, and it might look somewhat semi-decent. Now I just gotta work out what other stickers we're gonna put on there, do a little bit of graphics or something, break it up a bit. But um, yeah, I'm definitely not any kind of graphic designer, so I'm gonna have to see how we go with this one. All right, just about to put the stickers on the other side of the car, so I thought I'd show you how I do it. Um, definitely not an expert, so it's probably not how you're meant to do it, but uh, I'll show you anyway. So we've got the white outline here. And then we've got the, whatever colour this is, ready sort of orangey colour here. I've got to stick the outline on the car, peel it off, chuck it on, and then stick the other one on as well. I wanted to go with white outline with blue, but we didn't have enough. Then my next one was was red, didn't have enough of that either, so we went for this orangey type red colour. Um, I should have probably just bought some more colours that I liked, but got to get it ready for this weekend, so in a bit of a rush, slapping it together. Whatever colours we got, that's what's going to do. So.
All right, on to alignment time. In-house at Scott's Tires. Didn't quite catch the actual alignment, but just finished it off then. We've gone with, we'll start with the front. Eight mil side toe out. We've got a fair bit of camber. Normally you wouldn't run that much, but my control arms are extended a little bit too much. Um, also a fair bit of caster, probably would almost run a little bit less than that, but we'll give it a shot this weekend with that much. Um, rear, we've set up the traction arms to give it a pretty even toe curve. Um, just a little bit of toe in to give it a bit of grip and pretty neutral camber. So we'll see how that goes on the weekend. Just changing the plugs now, doing a bit of a service. Getting a few bits and things tidied up. Should probably clean up the engine bay, it's a bit dirty. Okay. All the stickers and that are on now, so looks a little bit better. All the stickers. Some of the stickers. Yeah. Now we're on to trying to make a rear window that doesn't break. Um, had several rear windows in this thing. Every time it gets a bit of wind under it, they seem to crack. So this time I'm going to try and put some bracing on it. Um, brace it through the middle so it doesn't flex as much and crack through the middle. Um, also got to do some sort of sunroof. Um, in the past, I have tried to run a sunny on tilt and as soon as I do a backy, it just goes flying off. So now we're probably just gonna silicon one in normally. So it's whatever o'clock at night on Wednesday. Um, getting pretty tired. What is the time? 11 o'clock. We've got, we got the rear window in with actually what is acrylic. I thought it was Perspex. Got some screws there, some blinger bars there. Looking pretty sweet. Hopefully it doesn't come flying off. First corner enter. Um, got a bit of an issue with the hazard lights, so definitely not gonna fix that tonight. I'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, getting there. We'll be ready in a couple of days for round one. Mm-hmm. 